Today is the 21st of December, 2017, and we want to deal with the winter solstice because today is a day that in our uh, hemisphere, the northern hemisphere, it's the shortest day of the year, especially where I'm at. And so I'm in the D.C. area, so we have the shortest day of the year today. But what I want to show is how certain cities, populated cities, in the southern hemisphere, how their days are longer the further you go south from or south from the Tropic of Capricorn, which is where the sun is uh, traversing over or appears to traverse over at this time. It appears to be above the Tropic of Capricorn. So we're going to go from around the Tropic of Capricorn further south and see what we see. First, I want to start with Sao Paulo, Brazil. This is pretty much on the Tropic of Capricorn. And today we have the 21st of December and the hours of daylight is 13 hours, 35 minutes, 30 seconds. So approximately 13 and a half hours of daylight or light up or the sun being above the horizon at the Tropic of Capricorn. Now we know after this day, the sun starts to go back towards the equator, towards the northern hemisphere. So that means it doesn't get any further south than today. That's understood. Now, when we go further south, now remember 13 and a half hours approximately at Sao Paulo. Now we go further south to Punta Arenas, Chile. Let's see what today's hours are. Oh, pass it. Okay, we're looking at almost 17 hours. So you're looking at approximately three and a half hours longer daylight. How is this possible on a flat earth? Let's look at a map of South America. And we see... Chile up here and the further we go south which is Punta Arenas which is uh, I mean um, uh, in, in Chile of course I mean uh, yes in Chile and we look at Sao Paulo which is pretty much on the Tropic of Capricorn and yet the further we go south we have longer hours of daylight how is this possible on any flat earth model that I've seen? I, it's not possible on any flat earth model that I've seen. So please, uh, this is a question to the flat earthers. Please show me a map that verifies what we see here. Let's check another southern hemisphere continent. Now this continent is not as doesn't go as far south as South America, but Africa does go south. Uh, far south, pretty far, enough for us to get a reading on what we're trying to show here. Now today in Cape Town, well first I want to start with Windhoek, Namibia, which is, let's look at the map, it's a little bit above the Tropic of Capricorn, however, it's a lot closer to the Tropic of Capricorn where the sun is traversing over or appears to traverse over at this day. So it's a lot closer to the Tropic of Capricorn than Cape Town, which is uh, further south. And the daylight hours is 13 hours, 31 minutes. Okay, now let's look at Cape Town. Cape Town is 14 hours, 25 minutes. So almost an hour difference longer in Cape Town. Now, how is this possible on a flat Earth model? This show, this is showing something to the effect that the land masses are appearing to converge the further you go down south. 
but that's another subject. So the last point I want to make in this video is that if we look at now that phone never that phone rings maybe once a day and it's ringing right now and uh, I, I don't think I'll be doing any editing to this but anyway now if we look at Cape Town South South Af Africa is around here and we looking at Punta Arenas that is around here which is further south now once again the same point the same point we look at Cape Town we have 14 hours 25 minutes but the further we go south to Punta Arenas oh, which one it is? Oh, is this it let's see no that, that definitely ain't it let's go here go back up just to oh that is it. That, that was it. Let's go further up to. Okay, we see Punta Arenas, and we go down, and we see it has almost 17 hours of daylight. That's a question to the flat earthers. Please uh, explain this to me. 